Hi guys. So, because of Hollywood and video games, a lot of people have the wrong idea about armor and see how effective it actually is. So I thought it would be a fun idea to look at popular movies and video games and such to see exactly what their equipment is like or would be like in a real life battle. Starting with Lord of the Rings. Starting off with Gondorian armor. In Gondorian Knights, they look actually pretty well armored. They wear plate armor with chainmail underneath, which would be really, really effective. Only, they seem to have a giant weakness in their neck, which is completely exposed. There's no neck plate, no, no chainmail coif, nothing to protect it. So that's a giant, giant weak spot. They also are less armored in their butt area, which... I guess it's for movement and it wouldn't matter that much, but that neck part is, is surely a thing they need to look at. Second we have the armor from the Knights of Rohan, which kinda look random if you ask me, it's more like a grab what you can grab sort of thing. But there is one set of armor that keeps popping up which is this one, which is scale mail, it reaches all the way to the knees, which is something I really like. I guess it has some strap that wraps around your leg so it keeps protecting your leg, it stays in the, in the right place. It would not restrict movement that much. It seems very, very effective. I'm very glad to see something like this. Also the Knights of Rohan tend to have a little bit more neck protection since it, it looks like there's some chainmail that is strapped to their helmet. In the back, there's still a large open spot in the front, but it's it's better than nothing, I suppose. Eomer's armor looks fine. He wears chainmail with some some, I guess, padded leather on top, which is which is fine. Again, with the helmet, there's no neck protection, but regardless of that, it's completely all right. Theoden's armor, though, it looks like he wears plate armor. But it has a huge, huge weak spot here in the armpits. The armpits is something you really need to protect since there are very large veins there. If you get stabbed in the armpit, yeah, you'll most likely die. So, I don't see why the king would wear something like this. There needs to be some sort of better protection there than just a gambeson, which I guess that he was wearing underneath. And Eowyn's armor, again, it's male, it, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with it. Now I am actually pleasantly surprised when looking at the Uruk High armor. Well, when you first saw them they were mostly wearing leather, which is kind of like normal clothing, it's not really something you can judge, but the plate armor they wear, it, see, it, it looks like it's very good. They wear plate armor with chainmail underneath. It looks fine. Now Legolas says that their armor is weak in the neck and in the armpit. Which would make sense because the armpit is a thing that is really, really difficult to protect. If you put mail there, you restrict your movement a lot and you can't put plate there because you just can't. You won't be able to move at all. And in their necks, as usual, you can see that there's no neck plate, no chain mail. So yeah, that, that, will, that will make sense. Yurokai also have a giant weak spot simply by not having any upper leg protection. They do wear chain mail, but it only barely touches their legs, it just reaches over their torso. If it was a bit longer, it would simply be able to protect the legs way more. There's also a large weak spot in their helmets, since their mouths are completely open. It's, it's, there's no protection in the mouth. It, you can just stab him or shoot him right in the throat like that and there will be nothing to stop you. It would be an instant kill. Real historical helmets always had some sort of face protection and even though you could move it, usually it was still, it was there to protect your face for that same reason. It's dangerous and the Rokai helmets just have a giant hole there which is just asking to get to get stabbed. It's, it's kind of weird. Also, I gotta commend Sauron because the orc armor, what you can see, it looks decent. Again, with orcs it's most likely just grab what you can grab and, and, and hope that you get something good. But if, I, if we look at it, they wear a combination of plate Male and leather armor, which all three just it looks all right. They seem pretty well protected. So yeah Then there's the elven armor which Looks all right. There's nothing really to complain about 
There, it is a little bit weird though because I can judge for magic. I don't know how it works, but elves seem to be light enough to walk over snow. Yet they wear some sort of metal armor. Maybe it's it's like an elvish metal that is really really light or something. I don't know, but just thinking about that, it's a metal that works. Having armor that is shaped in these ways, it's fine. It's completely fine. I think that covers about all of it. You still have the troll at the end of Return of the King. But then again, I don't really know, know a troll's anatomy, so I can't really judge for him. And uh, yeah, goblins and, and, and orcs, they wear all kinds of scraps. Again, that I can't really judge. It doesn't really matter all that much. I mean... So that was it guys, I hope that you liked it, I surely did, click like if you did, it helps me out a lot, subscribe for more, I'm also planning on making one of these about The Hobbit, which will be quite different since I have a lot more to talk about in that one, and of course, thanks for joining my quest.